Hey guys, welcome back to The Nomadic Foodie. My name is Kat, and today I am going to compare two very popular Florida state parks in the Florida Keys. So these two state parks are really popular for snorkeling on the beach, and the names are Bahia Honda State Park and Baked Pine Key, and John Pennenkamp Coral Reef State Park in Key Largo. So I'm going to compare to both of them, and you can get an idea of what to expect from each one, so you can make a good decision about which park you wanna go visit for your Florida Keys vacation. So let's go. So I'm going to list out six different things about these two state parks. And the first one is in Bahia Honda State Park, you're going to see a lot more beautiful colors. It's the colors that would make the most beautiful vacation pictures. You can see it here. Whereas John Pennenkamp State Park, the water is more green. It feels more like a river because it's a lagoon. So you're not gonna get that electric blue colors that you would love to see for your vacation photos. So if you are looking for that beautiful beach photo or if you are dreaming of lounging by the beach next to these you know beautiful electric waters definitely choose Bahia Honda State Park there is a beach at Bahia Honda State Park and at low tide you can actually go pretty far out into the water if you're looking to do more of a lounging on the beach kind of day I would definitely choose Bahia Honda State Park the second thing to consider is the pricing for both of these state parks it's the same amount to get in so the admission fee for each one is $8 per vehicle and they do charge 50 cents per person. So for example, my husband and I, two people, it was $9 total to get in. And these two state parks have very similar amenities. They have the usual things like the bathroom, the showers, places to rinse off your feet. They also have changing rooms. They have barbecue grills and picnic tables. And in both of these places, they also have covered picnic tables as well. So for this second thing, I would say it's a tie because it's basically the same amenities and the same pricing to get in. The third thing to consider is at John Pennekamp State Park in Key Largo, they have signs for both of their beaches to beware of alligators. And that could be a deal breaker for you guys, but at Bahia Honda, I didn't see any beware of alligator signs at the time of this recording. So that could actually be a deal breaker for you guys. I personally didn't see any alligators at John Penn and Camp State Park, but they do have these signs for a reason. So just keep that in mind if that is going to be a deal breaker for you guys, if you wanna see alligators or not. So the next thing to consider would be the safety for swimming and if you are with children or if you are with beginner swimmers I feel like John Penn and Camp State Park is a little safer especially the one at Cannon Beach because that state park is actually more of a lagoon so the water is really still it's really shallow and there aren't any strong currents and you might feel a slight wave if a boat is passing by from far away but the waves actually push you to the shore instead of out into the water even more so I feel like this is a better place for beginner swimmers but do note that there is a point at Cannon Beach in John Penn and Camp State Park where it kind of drops off so I actually was snorkeling and I noticed that the water started getting colder I just kind of looked up a little bit and I saw like the abyss <laughs> I don't know how deep that was, but there is a drop off. So beware of that at Cannon Beach at John Penny Camp. At Bahia Honda, it's shallow as well. I do feel that it is still safe for, for kids or beginner swimmers. But at Bahia Honda, there is a very distinct current. If you're not careful, it can totally carry you out further towards the bridge area. So just keep that in mind. I would say John Penn and Camp is a safer beach for beginners and for kids. So the next thing to think about is if you are looking to do a day trip from Miami, let's say you're taking a road trip in South Florida, Bahia Honda is a lot more south. It's about two and a half hours drive one way from Miami. I would say this is a little harder to get to. You could still do it, but it's like five hours drive round trip per day. And it just won't be as relaxing because you have quite a hike to get back to Miami. But on the other hand, John Penn and Camp State Park, it's in Key Largo. This is the closest key to Miami. So this is a much easier drive. It's about an hour south of Miami 
depending on traffic of course but it's a lot more doable as a day trip for Miami so if you are looking to do a little road trip for the day for Miami I would definitely choose John Penn and Camp over Bahia Honda it's going to be a lot more enjoyable and relaxing for you guys so the last thing you might want to consider is the sunset I know a lot of us love watching the sunset over the water and I definitely recommend doing that in the Keys it's probably one of the most enjoyable things you can do in the Keys is to just end your day with a beautiful sunset and for the sunset now I would say Bahia Honda 100% because John Penn and Camp does not face the sunset it faces east and it's actually in the lagoon so you're not going to see that much if you're looking for a beautiful sunset to end your day definitely choose Bahia Honda State Park you can go to Loggerhead Beach we actually took the short little walk up this Bahia Honda bridge for a 360 view of the sunset and I loved it so I hope that these six things help you guys decide where you want to go. We actually went to both of them and we liked both of them for different reasons. But if I only had one state park that I could visit, I would definitely choose Bahia Honda. It's got the iconic beautiful colors in the Keys. Awesome sunset. There are no alligators. The only drawback is that it's not as safe as John Pennant Camp for beginner swimmers or kids. But I still think it is a very safe beach. And and the other thing is it's a lot more further south than Miami so you can keep that in mind so I hope you enjoyed this video if this helped you at all please give it a thumbs up and I'm going to be giving you more tips on visiting the Florida Keys on where to go and where to eat so if you want to see more please subscribe and stay tuned